Hey, Friday, congratulations. You made it this far. So have I. Even though I'm recording this a couple of seconds after the previous video, here we are anyway. I have painstakingly scoured the uh, GeoGuessr themed maps, and I have come up with a, another map for us to do for Friday here. Since the I don't really ever watch the show, but I guess one of the most recent episodes, they aired when they came to up to my neck of the woods, and I figured, why not give it a shot? Here we are doing <laughs> locate, uh, places that were on the show, diners, drive-ins, and dives. Um, I don't know exactly where a lot of these places are because I don't really ever watch the show. But I feel that this is Hawaii just because it says Aloha Kitchen. I'm going to say we're in Honolulu. But uh, until further notice. Um, never watched the show. Don't really... Blazed and Confused. That's a great name <laughs> for a place. Um... Yeah, I don't really have a uh, uh, bad thing to say about Guy Fieri in any way. I mean, he does a lot of great stuff. I mean, you may find it fun just for picking on him just because he's the guy he is and the way he acts and dresses. But, you know, Guy does a lot of good... Oh, we're in Arizona. Interesting. All right, well, let's... Uh, shift gears here and go to Mesa. Where the hell is Mesa again? Uh, oh, we're right outside Phoenix. Alright. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat a bit. I'm just gonna click around there. Um, he does charity. He helps out a lot. He's what a lot of people would want your, I guess, celebrity role models to be like. Um, I mean, there was pretty good interviews. I mean, he did hot ones. He uses some really weird-looking lights. They're all, like, super angled and kind of unsettling-looking because I'm used to them being, like, straight up and then bent over, but... Interesting. Hot ones had a pretty good interview with the guy. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of other ones you'd have with him. But he came up to... a, uh vegan place, I think, up here. Uh, one of the places he went to. I don't know if I've actually been to any of the places that were in the show. Maybe one? But it's interesting whenever people talk about, like, real amazing places to go around where they live. Like, everyone's always got a great place, a food place to go to that if they had to give recommendations to anybody... Um, they'd be like, oh man, you gotta go to this place. Everyone's always got those, and I guess the best thing is, is there's a lot of great food based essentially in any city. Any city always has that one place, there's at least the bar, which is kind of like the theme of the show, as I realize that I'm explaining it right now. Um, the whole point of the show, every town, every city has like that bar that's been around for everywhere that's just got that film all over it those tiny little restaurants that the same family has been running for 800 years. You know, shit like that. They're always fun to go to. There is another uh, thing about Arizona in particular. I mean, it's been a long time since I um, did a uh, did Arizona on here. Christ, I don't know how many months ago that was. When did I start doing the States? Was it like November? I think I, I'm, I'm going to hit the guest button because I think I nailed it. Yeah, what was the name of this place actually? Aloha Kitchen. Okay, let me, let me take a sip. I don't know what that show was about, but I'm sure they had great stuff. Ethiopian Cuisine. I think I've had it. Another Arizona one, huh? Must have been the same episode. 
uh, there's a thing about Arizona that uh, their lawns are basically non-existent. And the, uh, we're in Glendale. There are um, these little, like, they're almost like natural caltrops. I guess it's the best way to, uh, the best way to describe it, that these things are super painful to step on if you happen to, uh, do it. Or at least do it by accident. Where is Glendale? Isn't that outside Eonix? Yes, it is. Ethiopian. <laughs> Excuse me, that was very un uncouth of me. Okay, I do not see it. Oh, I'm falling apart here. I'm going to put us here. Have I had Ethiopian food before? I might have once. I know that when I was... I, it's one of these dumb memories that I have of when I was a child in elementary school. We had a... Uh, like a African culture day, I believe it was. And one of the things that we had was uh, peanut butter soup. I don't even know exactly how that's a sketchy cactus. These things are dangerous, I think. They're like super heavy. Tucson Boulevard. Is this Tucson Boulevard? That's Grand Ave. Are we in Tucson? No, I don't think so. I think, unless they're, like, having trouble with public works here and they had to, er like, order or ask people from other states to come and uh, help them out, I think we're in, uh, where did I say we were? Glendale? Yeah. But if I had to give a, uh, um, my own, like, suggestions for places, there's a few around here that I enjoy. I don't know if there's, like, places I need to go. One of the places I liked that doesn't exist anymore was a, uh, it's kind of a chain. I think it's a Mexican restaurant place, mainly because one of my uh, friends worked there for a while, and it was a uh, interesting workplace where stories I heard about when he was working there, he was working the bar, and two guys came running out of the kitchen. One of them had this very long, like, sheet metal cover that you pull down on top of like the if you ever see what uh, if you ever gotten a subway sandwich and they always like make the thing and they have like the little bins they pick vegetables out of it's kind of like that but it's also got a lid that goes over the top to cover it one of the people came out of the off the the uh kitchen with that being chased by a guy with a knife and i believe it was a mexican restaurant and they did use a lot of i think it was um like, Mexicans would come to work there and kind of just, like, um, I guess use that as a launching pad to come to other, work at other restaurants. Like, I don't know if it was like a, you can kind of think of it as like a farm league. I don't know. Uh, but they came out yelling at each other um, about, I don't know exactly what, but they would go running through the tables, screaming at each other. I don't know what it was actually over. But he said it was a very awkward time. Fuck, we were in Tucson. All that time. Next to, uh... Zem Zemams. Hmm. I would try it. I'm always up for at least trying... Some restaurants food. Bagel Street Grill. This looks to be a... Urban Sprawl, Princeton Meadows. I don't know how they actually find these places. Like, do they have people call in? Do they go scout places? They have like, all right, here's a town. Look for everything in this town. A lot of birds. The Princeton Meadows. Are we like in Princeton? Windhurst, Rick's bus, bu Rick's Rick bus company. Like this isn't definitely not a uh, school, so that's not gonna help me. Hmm. 
I want to see that bus, that, that truck. Oh. Plainsboro, New Jersey. Okay. So we're in Jersey, in Plainsboro. I don't know where that is. Plainsboro. Are we outside Trenton? I think we're big enough um, location that they would uh, locate it. Hmm. Where is it? Do I have to like zoom in just a smidge more? I might be tr trying a little too hard to find it here. <laughs> anyway, I've got the state. It's not popping up just yet because I can't remember exactly where everything is. Back on the road. Here we go. Hmm. I need to see where we are. Windhurst Drive. That doesn't help me. There may be routes up here, actually. Let me, let me take a look. Plainsboro Village. I'm going... On a road I don't want to be on. Thank you. The hell is Plainsboro? I want a root sign so I can at least start to figure out where we are. This is annoying. Give me something here, folks. Historic Woodoff, whatever house, Plainsboro. Why don't you have root signs anywhere, you, you, you bastards? Let me hit back. I got a minute left. I feel I should be able to nail this, but the problem is... I'm not seeing... Like, root signs anywhere to at least help me here. Plainsboro. I'm gonna put us here for now. And try to look around. To see if I can't see it. Plains, bro. I found Sweetsboro. I feel this is a big enough, a big enough town that it should be pop. I see Princeton, but that is not it. New Brunswick, Franklin Township, Piscataway, Plainsboro. Show yourself, you fuck. I don't see it. Alright, I think I'm just gonna hope I'm close. Okay, I was. Plainsboro. It's, I saw Princeton. I saw Princeton Junction, Princeton Meadows. Plainsboro. A bagel street cafe. Whatever. This is Liam McGuire's. Irish pub and restaurant. This seems to be a weird resortish town. Simply divine. I wonder what it felt like to be the restaurant right next to the famous place. To be like, why did it go here? We're the good place too. See, Argent. No, it's not an it, it, the Bear Inn boots. Oh, there's just turkeys walking in town. Interesting. I don't know why I know it. Oh, I think he's looking at him. Is that Stephen King? <laughs> the fuck are there turkeys just, just walking? Fucking weird ass birds. The fuck is this town? <laughs> I did not expect to see. Actually, I want to see if, uh, can I tell what they are? They have beards. Pretty fat birds. Now I feel like <clears throat> I'm never going to actually catch up to that fire truck, so that was going to help. Shoreway Center Hotel. Is this Jersey again? This could be Jersey again. Yeah, Hanush Jewelers. Where is this? Fucking Turkey Town. Main Street, what do we got? Plymouth, oh, Falmouth. Isn't that all in mass? 
There's a Falmouth mass, but the problem is, I don't know if I'm going to find it. Because there's a lot of mooths everywhere here. I'm going to put us like out here. But it very well could be around any of these. So I'm going to continue. Like, I don't know the actual um, range in America for where turkeys are. But I feel that it's a north. I feel this feels northeast to me, if not Massachusetts, somewhere close to it. Where are we? Give me a little bit more information, please. Yeah, we got the Falmouth Rescue Department. Is it a suburb of Boston? I, I'm not, I don't see it. Doesn't mean it's not here, it just means I can't see it. See Newton. See Walmart. Apparently it's big enough outside Framingham that it's got its own friggin' sign. Alright, let's let's try to get out of town or at least look for a maybe highway of some sort. That's how we're doing this now. Like I saw a turkey in the middle of a friggin' town. Like, it's got to be near woods of something. There's friggin' turkeys walking around, so it, maybe it doesn't feel right that it's, well, there could be enough, like, in-between spaces here for turkeys to live, but maybe it's not in Boston, or those are some really fucking lost turkeys, or they could be someone's pets. They seemed awfully calm for walking around in a pretty, um, busy thoroughfare. They're turkeys, they're weird animals. I'm not seeing, oop, we do have a sign. No, what, what, no, but what? Wait, wait, why? Why did you jump off there? I can't, thank you. I ran out of time. Oh, fuck it, it's got a sign. Uh, I'm an idiot. Okay, this is Tacos Chiwas. Wow. Lots of bars in the windows. Medina. Funky cold Medina. Taco, oh, Cafe Chiwas, Tacos Chiwas. Is this... Tucson? We're in... Man, there's a lot of Arizona ones here. Whoever did this map, it was a... Uh, So this is going to be 51 north and Highway 10. So i got to find 51 north. So I don't know if this is actually in Tucson then. I'm going to put us there for now. But I want to see if I can find where we are. Is that a Phoenix? I mean, why would we be, it can't be Phoenix, because we're heading north on 10, which it would have to be down here, wouldn't it? Then wherever 51 is. I don't see a 51 anywhere. Is there a Medina in, uh, in, in, in Arizona? I don't see a 51 anywhere here. And we're heading east and north. So east is this way. North is this way. But I'm not seeing 51 anywhere unless it's like a combo. We, did we combo with a... Uh, another, I think I'm way too hung up on this. I don't see a, a, a 10 anywhere here. Alright, let's, let's stop staring at this and maybe try to find out where we are. Take a look at this highway sign real quick. We got Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. 51 North. So this is clearly a a highway, a route that I should be able to find. So let's look for it. 
This is my new goal in life. Find 51. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, there's Bisbee. I'm only looking at this because this is where uh, the comedian lives. I cannot remember his name because I'm an idiot. Sorry, I was completely distracted because that happens a lot. Where is 51? Am I like looking in the completely wrong chunk of the stay here? I feel I'm not. Because it was north east. This is going to be back here. I have lost my faith and ability to read highway signs. I did click a place. I did at least. They're heading east to Tucson, so maybe we're like here? But well, we're heading north, so it should be down. All right, I don't know. I, I can't wait any longer. It wasn't Phoenix. What the fuck? Oh, there's 51. And it's kind of visible there, but I have to zoom in a bit more than I think I did. Okay, anyway. Interesting map. Um, let me take a sip. Yeah. So, that's our week. We'll see if this Sunday is any different from next Sunday, at least in my tone. Having been cooped up in my place for a week, but do what you gotta do. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, corrections, Anything of the like, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. The week continues. I hope you all had a uh, good week and an enjoyable weekend. Um, we'll see you back here on uh, Monday. I don't know what else to say. I'm out, of, I'm out of thoughts. My brain's a little fried right now. I'll see you here. Well, in a week from recording, but three days from when this airs. Goodbye, folks. Have a good one.